Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a mirror I created that won't show you your reflection if you're too ugly. So in order to tackle this problem, I had to come up with a few different solutions. The first one is how do you make a mirror that can turn off and on its reflectivity? How could it be reflective one moment and then shiny a different moment? Well, in order to do that, I'm going to be using liquid crystals. So the next question is, how do we get it to determine if you're ugly or not? Well, that turns out to be pretty difficult because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But I think there's one thing we can all agree on. When you smile, you look better. So the way I'm going to be determining if I'm ugly or not is just if I'm smiling. That's a lot easier. I need to use some facial recognition. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I like robots. Oh! <laughs> And that's why I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, War Robots. War Robots is an action tactical shooter, six versus six in real time. You can fill your hangar with unique bots and there are more than 60 of them, each with different abilities. They can jump, fly, they have stealth, they can heal. One of my favorite things about the game is it takes these robots that you could only dream about controlling in real life and you get to use them and even destroy them in the game. And I love how realistic the graphics are and that you can even team up with other people in the game. There are more than 60 types of weapons with machine guns, sonic weapons, rail guns, rockets. You can play with your team in a multiplayer mode and there's never any problem with matchmaking since there are over 150 million players worldwide. And if you're playing in the solo mode, you can try the arena or free for all mode. This game is being constantly updated so you never get bored. You can download this game today using the QR code here or the link in my description. If you download using my special link, you'll get a starter pack which includes a robot with a weapon plus a unique skin and 100 gold and 50,000 silver. And the first thousand people to download the game with my link will get a really cool hand flamethrower. And thanks again to War Robots for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to our experiment. So I have here a sheet of two polymers with liquid crystal in between them. And as you can see, it's opaque. So I have a power cord here and I'm gonna turn on around 60 volts AC current. One electrode is going to the top layer and one's going to the bottom layer here. Turn it on and watch what happens. It becomes completely transparent now. So it was opaque, now it's transparent. And I can turn it on and off just by pushing the switch here. Look, I can edit my head out. Now the way that this works is when the power is on, the liquid crystals all align together and so they allow light to pass through. But then when you turn it off, the liquid crystals become more scattered and they don't allow the light to pass through. They get scattered in all directions and it becomes a diffuse white paper almost. So that means if I just stick this sheet over a mirror, then I can make the mirror become reflective or not reflective depending on if I'm running power through this or not. So you can see how opaque this is and turn it on, <laughs> completely clear. So what's interesting about these liquid crystals is liquid crystals aren't actually liquid. For example, let's pull this apart and see what it looks like. So you can see that it's transparent right now, but the parts where I start to peel these two layers apart so that the liquid crystals can't align, then it's no longer transparent there, it's opaque again. So I can cut this top part off. As soon as I cut it off, oh, there it goes, opaque. So it took a little bit to go opaque. So I peel both these layers apart. It's not there, like there's actual liquid in there, but the liquid crystal just refers to the fact that they can change their orientation. So you can see even though I cut some off at the top, it still works just fine. So the way I'm going to be determining if I'm ugly or not, is just if I'm smiling. If I'm smiling, I look good. So what I've done is I have an app that can determine different emotions. So for example, I have here anger, disgust, fear, and joy on here. So let's see what happens if I look angry. 92% angry, a little bit disgust. Joy? I look very happy now, so 98% joy. But for this experiment here, the only thing that I'm caring about is joy. So basically, it's if I'm happy enough, it's gonna show joy. And really, it's determining how much of my teeth are showing, because if I just smile like this, 
but I don't have a lot of joy still. I have to show my teeth. So what I'm going to be doing is using this app to determine if I have enough joy by smiling. And if I have enough joy, I'm going to use it to trigger the mirror to turn on and it will become reflective. But as soon as I don't smile anymore and frown, then the mirror's not gonna let me see myself anymore. All right, so how I've set this up now is that I have my joy detector, which is just an iPhone behind the mirror there. And so it's going to determine if it sees joy on my face. Basically, if it's seeing my teeth enough and I'm smiling big enough, it'll determine that I have joy and it'll make that bar go up. So how does that trigger my mirror to turn on? Well, from across the room, I have a detector that's focused on that portion of the app right there. And it determines if the bar is going up or down. And if I have enough joy for long enough, then it's going to send a notification that will turn a light on and that light is going to trigger my mirror to turn on. So what I did is I put in a photoresistor in line with the circuit here. And what the photoresistor does is when it senses light, it lowers the resistance. But when there is no light, it raises the resistance. So what it means is if I cover the photoresistor, it doesn't let power through and it makes it become opaque. But when I let light in, then it becomes clear. So right now there's light reaching it because it's in my hand but then cover it and don't let the light in and it becomes opaque. Then let the light in again and it becomes clear. All right, so with all of these parts working together, what will happen is as I approach the mirror, it's going to be opaque. But if I smile at it long enough, then the app that detects smiles or joy is going to make that bar go up. That bar is going to make a trigger go off that's gonna turn a light on, that's gonna turn the photoresistor on, which will let more power through, which will turn on the mirror and it will become reflective. So let's see if we can actually get this to work. A mirror that won't let you see your reflection unless you're smiling. So if I can get a big smile and hold it there long enough, then I can get a glimpse of me in the mirror. Okay, so let's try to turn it on with my smile now. Here we go. Big smile. Three, four, five. There we go. <laughs> so if I can hold it like this, I can get, keep seeing my reflection in the mirror. But if I stop, it goes away. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Took a while, see now I'm happy. It shows me my reflection, but if I stop. Now this is kind of a silly mirror, but it's actually not as silly as you think because scientists have found that there's actually a connection between your facial muscles and your brain. And it's not just that your brain can command your facial muscles to do whatever it wants, but it also works the other way around. For example, scientists have found that when you have a certain mood, it's gonna show up in your facial expressions. But if you wanna change that, interestingly enough, you can actually just change your facial expressions. If you do it for long enough, then it'll change how you're actually feeling in your brain. So what that means is that if you wanna be happier, you don't actually have to start off feeling happy, but you can just smile. So if you smile for long enough, it's gonna trick your brain into thinking you're actually happy. Or you just turn into Hide the Pain Herald. <laughs> so it would be cool to actually have a commercial mirror like this where you have to smile at it for a certain amount of time before it turns on because it could help you be in a better mood through the day. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.